Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes. You know the best part about Friday is we just started those midnight showings and we have new movies to watch. Now, of course, the big movies are Prometheus and Madagascar. Ooh, look for a big opening weekend. Oh, and there's more box office. Yes, movies to come. Meanwhile, we're gonna bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And Obama goes off the teleprompter and into a tirade about how the world is conspiring against him. Oh yeah. The, the Greeks had better get off their, and then he, they blank him out, and the Spaniards had better get off their, and, because he said these people are doing nothing. They, they, they have to become good citizens of the community, and they have to do what is necessary to re-elect me. Of course, he didn't say re-elect me, but he basically blasted, you know, George Bush and the Republicans. You know, George Bush isn't president. This economy is doing great. But they're conspiring. They're conspiring to destroy the economy to remove me from office. And every, his whole tirade today was about the everybody is conspiring. He's paranoid. He, he basically he's losing. The polls show that he's losing. The more he attacks Romney over women, Romney's got daughters, folks. Romney has a wife that's got uh, physical disabilities. And Romney has a, a, a disabled child. So when you're going after somebody about not being, not knowing what it's like, I think a guy that's got a wife that's got cancer and he's got mm -hmm. a child with problems, he knows exactly what it's like. Even if you have tons of money, it, money doesn't fix the problem in those cases. And some LinkedIn eHarmony passwords leaked online. Yes, not some, cut off a lot of them. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, what happened, that, that's, that's not the worst of it. There's a, there's a thing going, circulating on Facebook also that tell about, let's say they're telling people, don't pay any attention to this letter about Facebook violating your privacy. Ignore it. Well, the problem is, is when Facebook tells you to ignore something. That's exactly what you're not supposed to do, right? I know, which means people are going to open it. So you have no idea, is it a virus or is it? Facebook trying to make certain that people, okay, everyone Well, what knows. was it? Um, I didn't open it. Well, no, it basically, you don't open it because you don't know whether it's true or not, whether it's the person telling you that Facebook is basically violating the rights of privacy. I'm going to tell you, first of all, folks, Facebook is you, Facebook reads everything you say. They basically, well, they they look don't for, normally send you out emails. It's like you getting an email from PayPal telling you to change your password, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but they don't do that. But they do read everything that you put up. Their computers go over it. They scan it for keywords. If you say anything they don't approve of, if you put pictures up, if somebody says something about the picture, which is why people, I, I sell pictures, are basically Photoshopping out you know, parts of the anatomy that can't be shown and still doing it because if people are saying derogatory things, they're, you know, but they, that's because a week ago they got um, on the American Cancer site, they basically tossed the site over showing cancer survivors, mm -hmm. which they put it right back up again because, well, we didn't know. And Penn State heavy jury um, picked in sexual abuse case. Well, if you're going to hold a trial in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where Penn State is located, the odds are really good you're going to get people connected with Penn State on the jury. And they're not going to... Yeah! They're going to convict the people there. I mean, first of all, I, I, I always distrust people that have revelations a quarter of a century late. Yeah. That just, yeah. That's always phony to me. I mean, that this did... And they will. We... We were embarrassed. We couldn't do that bull because they they um they decided it was a time to come after money. They'll chew them up on well. How much money? Here's the trick: is how much money did you request that they pay you to keep shut mouth shut? That's when the that's when it comes to an end, and they've all requested money. And the U.S. won't stop tweeting China air quality readings. Yeah, like like the, like the president of the United States is going to. To tell people how bad the uh, when when he's touting China as an example of a green country. Oh, this is a good one. Fisker is no longer <laughs> going to build the electric vehicle. What? Yeah, the money that Obama gave them, like a zillion dollars to build an electric car, they've mm -hmm. abandoned the electric vehicle entirely now, and took the taxpayers' money with it. 
What? They're get, they're basically, they took the taxpayers' money, went to Europe to build the car, didn't build the electric vehicle, but ram up uh, like a $750 million to build an electric car they never had any intention of building. They're using that money to buy a car that's build a car that's commercially viable. Um, are you ready to work until you're 80? <laughs> no, but they said that that has to be the new retirement age. They said the problem is, is that, okay, I am not the exception. I am the rule nowadays. When you see these old guys walking around with walkers, that is the exception today. They're, you got to understand how many people are still functioning and working full time in their middle 70s now. Well, and actually part of it is a lot of them would still like to work, but we're getting laid off because they were too old. Oh, yeah, they're getting laid off. I mean, like the movie industry, basically, they decide that a person that uh, you, we won't assure you because uh, I, mean, I remember um, Kurt Douglas said he wanted to do, uh, wanted to make another Western with, um, with James Garner and they, they wouldn't, the insurance companies, because Garner and him both had strokes and they're oh. both in their, you know, uh, uh, Douglas is in his 90s, Garner is around 80 and because of that the insurance companies won't insure him. He said, I can get him, I, can, I, I, mean, I get a goddamn horse and ride every day, so does Jimmy. He said, we both ride every day. They're afraid we're going to fall off. We've been falling off since we were 18, you know, like we were It's like, yeah, we'll fall off again. Said that just, I mean, it was the same thing. I was um, listening. Um, they're talking about Joe McCrae. Joe McCrae, the last movie he did was a western. He hadn't worked in a, hadn't did a western in a decade, and his family was terrified. What if Dad falls off? You know, what if Daddy falls off? And he said, he mounted the horse from the backside and rode off into the sunset. Daddy, he lived on a ranch. He, he was they're born on a ranch. He's used to falling off. He's used to falling off. And he said, what the hell are they going to do? He said, I've been falling off horses all my life. Just get back up again. So. And. I know. <laughs> Monty is tough. Yeah, he's a real bitch. And top Al Qaeda strategist may have been killed in Pakistan. Yeah, may have. What Obama does is he, he basically, this is going to be a good one. They are going to, okay, Obama basically demanded they be a tribunal put together for leaders of the world that violates human rights and does war crimes. Because he was aiming for George Bush, but unfortunately nobody would go after Bush because they actually like Bush in most of the world. So guess who's going to be the first American president to be brought up by the tribunal? Who? Uh, our president, President Obama, because he keeps indiscriminately firing missiles into another country. They don't like that. Mm -hmm. And eventually, okay, this is a good one. He who fires <coughs> missiles into a country that has nuclear missiles is not the world's most intelligent individual. And G7 to hold emergency Euro talks and Spain is a top concern. Well, yeah, it looks like Spain is going to have to have a $50 billion bailout. That's just to keep it going. That's bailout one. Then after, they were, after the banks are stabilized, the country, well, uh, uh, Mr. President, they had a very viable economy until they went green. And then they discovered they lost uh, a job for every... Uh, they, they lost four jobs for every two jobs that were created in green industry. And, and, help, and, and green costs more than what they thought. It tanked the country's economy that was doing great. And Clinton Romney presidency would be calamitous. Yeah. What? Well, hmm. yeah, because he's basically, okay, he attacks the president one day and the next day he backtracks. He, uh. Yeah, basically he gets his attack in first. And basically, nobody bothers to pay any attention to his calamity. Well, I didn't mean it the way it was said. Yes, he did mean it. He is basically buried. Okay, I got to cover his ears. When people in the on the left and the press know that you're bleeding, they go after you like sharks. The Democrats are just like hungry sharks going after this president. There's a bark to him on the end like that. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, that um, that. You can always convince people to do something foolish, but you can never pr convince the person that did something foolish that they did anything foolish.